Welcome back to the Fab Forums. On this episode, we're going to firewall on this thing. So one of the things I've always done, even from a young age, was anytime I'm working on a project, I always made it easier to work on in the future. So, you know, if I was designing something or you know, if I was working on, you know, a streetcar, I'd always eliminate all the stuff that was going to be an aggravation in the future. And I guess that's kind of why I designed this thing the way that I did, where a couple bolts, two motor mounts, a couple transmission bolts, and everything comes out. You don't have to take the turbo off. You don't have to take the exhaust off. You don't have to take the induction tubing off. It's just a super simple way to work on this thing. Now, that being said, I don't really hope, I hope I don't have to plan to work on this thing that much, but maybe it's just something that's ingrained in me. I don't know. So some of the really old videos, I show the motor mounts. So I mean, these are the actual motor mounts. So it mounts to the bottom of the engine here and there and then these two actually mount to these side plates that I've welded in the chassis on both sides. Makes it really easy to take them out. You just kind of loosen those bolts up, take the motor mount out and then when the motor mounts out it makes the engine easy to come out. The thing just slides right out. There's a lot that still needs to be done on the engine really. I need to kind of go through that thing, make sure everything looks well. I'm gonna change the cylinder heads. I've got a different set of cylinder heads for it. Uh, different rocker arms, valve spring, like the whole nine yards has got to be changed. Got a new camshaft that's going to go in it. It's a solid roller, so I'll change the lifters. Like there's a lot of stuff that needs to be changed on this engine. Uh, but because I'm only like four, three, four, five weeks from Ponies and Smokies, I'm not going to fool with it. We're just going to make sure it looks nice and presentable. Um, what I want to, the reason I took it out is because what I want to do is work on this firewall over here. So all this red's gotta go. I gotta clean up the stuff that's hanging out. We're gonna cut all that off, build a complete new piece out of sheet metal. Uh, maybe do some quilting. And most likely, because I'm gonna do a lot of bead rolling on it, I'll do it in two pieces. Or maybe even four pieces. Might do like one main piece that goes in here and then these little pockets on the sides. I may like contour those in some way and make, I don't know. Just like everything else on this build. Just start, figure it out as I go.
So engine's out, getting ready to do the firewall. I've got everything kind of prepped and ready to go. So I basically trimmed all this up, kind of got that where I needed it to be, trimmed this whole lower section. You know, the, from the factory is a big flange that sticks off this thing. So I got all that taken care of. And the idea is that I'm gonna do a lower firewall and then an upper piece that kind of matches this and they'll overlap. At least the idea is that I'm gonna make them in two pieces right now and then maybe towards the end of like final assembly, like when I know it's the last time the body's going on, um, I may actually permanently join the lower with the, with the body and kind of make it all one, seal everything up. But for now, I wanna do it in two pieces just so I can continue to remove the body. There's a couple things I wanna do potentially with the body off and that's like put a headliner in it. I wanna do like a custom headliner. I'd love to do it in one piece um, that I wouldn't be able to get back in there if the body was on the car. So, so I just took some Ram board. You know, me and Ram board are tight like that. I use this stuff on all kinds of th pattern making. I actually got a piece right here for the rear bumper. So took a piece of Ram board, kind of sketched out what I need. And this is actually like a reverse image. So this is the driver's side. That's actually where the steering shaft comes through. That's the brake. Um, or the master cylinder mount. So that's gotta be cut out. It's the clutch pedal hole. And then this is theoretically where I'm gonna split the firewall in half. So I need to make this in one piece and then I need to make that top piece separate with some kind of overhang. So you can see this piece that I make up here will actually come down and cover up this seam. So I'll kind of roll that thing in. And then, I don't know, I may make it to where the body comes off, off with this piece staying here because it'll be all attached here at some point. Uh, or I may actually like rivet it on and then if I ever want to take the body off, I can just drill the rivets out and then the body can come off. It'll definitely be in two pieces though. You can see some fitment around this section, uh, notched it around these tubes. These tubes don't move, but what I'll probably do is make some kind of beauty ring that goes around this after the fact. And then as far as down here, this will be like its own concave panel. I'm gonna do that on both sides. You can see that this side has one as well. So, it's getting to be crunch time. Ponies in the Smokies is the 28th of March. And what's today, like the 4th, 5th? So I mean, I'm running out of time and the bad thing is, is I'm going backwards. Like I'm taking stuff apart. It looks worse than it was. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that I can kind of button it back together. We're gonna scuff everything again, reseal it 
try to make it look as nice as we can for the show and then uh, back to work once we get it home. May or may not have mentioned in a past video, but I think I've got something up my sleeve for this thing. Currently working on it. You guys will be the first to know once once that kind of works its way out. What else? A uh, couple videos. Mentioned this thing. Haven't really told you much about it. This is a fine piece of American Mustang. Not really. So this thing's pretty rough. It ain't got no seals in it. I mean, you can see it's got some perfect body work. So the plans are with this thing is just to be a shop beater. That's the idea. I don't want to put a ton of time into it. Just something that, um, you know, I can rogue on. And first order of business is probably going to be 24 hours of lemons. So I got some guys that kind of want to run that. And they basically approached me and said, hey, you got that car. Let's just use that thing. And uh, we'll run lemons. I was like, hey, I'm down. Let's do it. So the idea is run lemons first. Stay tuned for that build. Like I said, we're gonna leave the outside exactly like it is. We're not doing anything. Put some safety equipment in it and uh, go see if we can run a 24 hour race. But I would like to keep this thing around just as a shop beater. Once we're done with lemons, maybe do some drag racing with it, uh, drifting, burnout contest, whatever. Whatever we feel like fits the need, we can kind of change up the car to fit that and then uh, go have fun and I don't have to spend a ton of time working on it. I mean, I spend a ton of time working on this one because I want it to be a certain way when it's done. I need almost the opposite of that with this car. So, yeah, if this sounds interesting to you, stay tuned because we're gonna make it happen. I do need a name for this. Uh, I kind of thought of like white bread. We kind of need a theme for, for the lemons race. I would like a name for it. So if you got any ideas of something that we can name this car, let me know. Put it in the comments section. Anyway, as always, thank you for joining me. Didn't get much done, or it doesn't feel like I got much done even though I worked all week on this thing. But anyway, as always, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys next week. Go do work, son.